It snowed last night. That's right. It snows in Texas sometimes. It stuck to the cars a little bit. Thanks, Hester. Hester is my Christmas cactus. Okay. I forgot to charge my camera last night. It was dead. So, that is why I'm sitting on the floor right now. And not still sitting in bed. I was gonna film this in bed. Okay. It is about 7 a.m. Usually I would be leaving for work right now. But instead, it's moving day. Hey y'all, and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith, and for today's video, we are moving. That's right, moving vlog. We are moving out of this tiny, not tiny, but like one bedroom that the two of us have been living in for almost a year and it has been terrible, but we are moving into a much bigger space where it will actually feel like our space. So I'm gonna get ready real quick and then we're gonna run to Starbucks and get coffee before the movers get here because all of our coffee stuff's packed up and we can't make coffee right now. So yeah. That's where I am. My house is completely just boxes everywhere. I'll show you all that real quick. But we're moving into a really, really large place and I can't wait to show you guys. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go put on some clothes. I knocked over the camera. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go put on some clothes. Also, this is Hester. Thank you, Hester, for helping hold the camera. I'm gonna put you back over here now. Put you back over there with Zoe and Chloe. Alright, let's do this. Okay, coffee is acquired. The movers are actually already working. We went to the bank and then we didn't have time to go get coffee before they were there, so I went out for a coffee run. Now I'm gonna bring the coffee back and hopefully most of it will be done and I won't have to do that much. We're making progress, guys. One hour later. Okay, first of all, when I'm walking down the stairs, I don't know if y'all can see that, but like, that's my view, just from the staircase. Okay, now. And it opens up just to so much space, so much light. What you'll be seeing a lot of, my new kitchen. Dark wood, black appliances, pot hanger, a real sized fridge. That sounds like our moving truck is here. Yep. So I gotta go help him. Just, just, just look at that view. That's my view, guys. Okay, now it's time to get to work.
these are from Just Plants. I have more plant babies over here. Plant babies! All the plant babies. We have an entire wall of boxes. Yeah. But I'm starving and it's time for lunch. And my partner and I remembered after we got over here, we forgot to have the movers help us with stuff in the garage. So after lunch, that'll be what we're doing. It's not that much stuff. It's like the Christmas stuff, the, the Christmas stuff, the Halloween stuff, the bicycles. And I think his mom is gonna come help us later. So yeah, uh, it's gonna be time to get unpacking now. Put things together. We started putting some of the stuff together while they were still bringing stuff up. I'm excited. Later that same evening. So we still have quite a bit of shit to move and clean up, but the movers helped us take all of the big stuff and say goodbye to this kitchen. No more filming in this. I mean, it was still a nice kitchen, but the new one is definitely nicer. We're here just to grab a few more things and then we'll come back tomorrow to grab the rest of it and grab the stuff in the garage. Three weeks later. Okay guys, real quick before I show you this walkthrough, we, it's been a couple weeks since I filmed. Uh, since I filmed the like, movers moving all of our stuff and since we officially moved into this apartment but we are finally mostly unpacked so that was awkward i could hear someone coming with their dog so anyways walk in We don't have everything hung, we only have a few things hung, but we have a little key holder, these cute little shelves. Um, they are very disorganized right now and still not completely put together. Walk in through this way, we have our laundry room, doing some laundry right now, shelving to organize the cleaning supplies, that's really nice. Turn around this way, this door is the coat closet, so excited to have a coat closet because all of these coats and shoes aren't taking up room in our in our big closet. We still need to get a shoe organizer because that is kind of just thrown everywhere. Some stuff we gotta take care of and put away. This is our living room. Very big, nice open over here. Basically, this corner is like all stuff we're getting rid of, including the bookcase and this table and these like little shelvy things. Pretty much getting rid of everything in this corner. Over here, we have some of my plant babies. That's Al, Al's big boy. Chloe, and a couple of the little baby owls that don't have names yet. And then down here is a bin of all of our plant stuff and workout stuff down there. Over here, we have an actual place to put up our nice little chess board, which is really cool. I'll come sit over here and just like play a game of chess with, by myself sometimes. Yes, I'm a nerd and I like to do that. Uh, <laughs> my partner actually started a game with the maintenance guy the last time he was here. So he told me I, was, I couldn't touch the board until I finished the game. Uh, I might, but they only made one move, so whatever. I'll just reset it like that if I play a game. Over here, we haven't hung these lights yet. We haven't hung that picture yet. This is like all my witchy stuff. I was burning a little incense, that's why it's all dirty right there. This is Susan. Susan with two Zs for my little ZZ plant. And then right here is the dining room. We have this like partition wall separating the living room and the dining room. 
which is great because in our last place, there was no separation. It was just been one big room and it was very annoying. We're gonna come back this way before I show you the kitchen. That I think is just the water heater. In this room is the office. So this room is the least put together out of all of the rooms, I'll say. Uh, my partner's desk. This is where my desk is gonna go when I get one. That's my art cabinet. And that's Dewey. And we need to put away all that crap. Oh, these are supposed to. These are supposed to go in there. We've got a TV in here and a couch. This is just a pile of stuff we need to hang around the house. And then guest bathroom, because the office is also the guest room. Double vanity in the guest bathroom too. And the guest closet is my costume closet. Y'all, I can actually hang all my costumes. I've got like all of my art stuff, all of my camping stuff, all of my costumes hung, all the swords, and all of more costume stuff. Festival, ravey stuff down there. And that first door leads us back around to the front. So it's kind of nice to have a bathroom right when we get in the door because I really have to pee when I get home sometimes because there's bad traffic in Austin. All right, over here is my kitchen. I'm so excited about this. Look at this, look at this, look at this. A pot hanger. I don't have to like find space for all of those in a cabinet. I've got a big island and like a real size fridge that's not like a tiny apartment fridge. So fucking excited for that. I actually have room for like all of our frozen fruit so we can have all the smoothies. All black, dark marble countertops. Love it. We still need to hang that all of my ingredients. And there's a freaking desk in my kitchen. So yes, I'm gonna have a desk in the office and out here, the one in the office is gonna be for editing and for doing all of that kind of stuff. And then this one out here is just, this one out here is just for when I'm like developing recipes so I can easily type them up, make changes or like watch YouTube while I'm cooking. So this is really neat. I freaking love this. It's so nice to have a desk in my kitchen. And we still have my little island over here, but it has now become the alcohol cart because the bottles were too tall to fit up there. And the reason we are getting rid of our bookshelf is because we have a built-in bookshelf. Love this. Some games, all of our books, and we're gonna put some like decorations up there at the top. Also, say hi to Hannah up there. And this is Hester right here. And this is our master bedroom. We do not have a bed frame. The mattress is on the floor right now. Uh, I like it that way, but my partner really wants to get a bed frame. So we might get one that's just like a slab slightly lifted, but for now, this works fine. I love this. I'm totally cool with this. We've got one of my paintings over there and over here that we need to hang. Our dressers, little infuser that I always diffuse lavender at night. This is Cliff. Cliff is here in our bedroom. Little music corner for my partner, my hula hoops. I don't know if those are gonna stay there or if we're gonna find a place for them, but for now, that's where they are. And then this big open space over here, we're gonna put a fainting couch so that there's like a little nook to go sit by the window and read or just like hang out, sit down while we're putting on socks or something. But yeah, we're gonna have like a little couch right here. And then the master bathroom. So this is my partner's side. This is my side. My little safety razor right there. Drying, cause I shaved today. This is shower bath is back there. And then the master closet.
The master closet is absolutely huge. So this side is mine and then that side, like from this center is my partner. You'll notice I have way less clothes than him. So. And we've got some built-in shelves right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blur that shelf out cause that's inappropriate. <laughs> built-in shelves right here. And then we come around. There's more closet over here. Oh, this is still my partner's. And then more built-in shelves right here, which we obviously share this area. So yeah, I know I haven't filmed a recipe video in this kitchen yet, but I am planning on doing that very soon for you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video this little moving vlog showing out our new place I am very excited to be here because a year ago I moved into my partner's bachelor pad one bedroom one bath and the office dining room living room were all one space and it was very stressful it was very hard on me because it was very cluttered and I I need space to breathe and like I get sensory overload when there's like too much going on so having like defined areas for things that are nice and clean is so helpful for me so we're both really happy where we are now and our view is absolutely gorgeous and yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more from me, if you're ready for some recipes in my new kitchen, in my new set. And I will see you guys next time. I'm the Vegan Rainbow. Bye, y'all.